When we push God to the side, this is what remains. He was attacked. A violent and bloody brawl broke out right here behind Chaos, division, confusion, fear. Who do we believe? Do we wear masks? Do we not wear masks? Do we believe the media? Which media do we believe? Who's telling the truth? Mixed information. Finger pointing. Justification of violence. All hallmarks of sin in a society devoid of God. The mob storming the barriers, pushing through this door. Capitol Police unable to hold them back. Others smashing through windows of the Capitol. Right now, our society is quick to make enemies of those we even slightly disagree with. Finger point. So I'm in the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus was arrested, where he prayed and the disciples fell asleep, where Judas betrayed him with a kiss. On the contrary, in the midst of his betrayal, Jesus took an enemy of his in Judas and called him friend. present time in our country is absolutely crucial. Are we going to continue down the path that we're on, furthering confusion, division, fear, where tolerance means shunning those we disagree with? Or will we reinstall the Judeo-Christian values we were founded on? Values that forgive rather than cancel. Values that aren't swayed by public opinion, trends, or online mobs that seek to shame and exclude for perceived infractions. As Alexander Pope stated in his poem, an essay on criticism, to err is human, to forgive, divine. We've canceled so many in the eye of the public, but we simply can't afford to cancel God.